Well, today is the feast day of our patron saint, Saint Malachi. That's why I have this beautiful, you see this as you walk in from the gathering room, but I had to put in front of the altar because this is his day. Saint Malachi, patron saint, our patron saint. He's got an interesting history. To begin with the history, let's go back to the Emerald Isle. Ireland, St. Patrick went there in the 300s and had some great success, brought a lot of people to Christianity. And the faith grew and it prospered. And there were many churches and monasteries and schools and art flourished and music flourished. And for centuries, it was the center of culture in Western Europe because the barbarians had rolled through Western Europe and shut civilization down basically. And so the Irish were actually sending missionaries back to France and back to Spain and back to Germany to re-Christianize the continent. And things were amazing in Ireland until the Vikings came. And I'm not talking about the Minnesota Vikings. They're not that tough. I'm talking about the real Vikings who, when they arrived at the shore of Ireland, destroyed everything in their path. They looted and burned the monasteries, the convents, the churches, um, civilization collapsed in Ireland. Uh, so now over time, the Vikings do accept Christianity and actually found the town of Dublin. And this is about the time where Malachi comes about. He's a young man at this time. He wants to become a priest. He goes to Rome, is trained and ordained, and he's sent back to Ireland as the papal delegate with the authority to reestablish the dioceses rebuild the churches and the convents and the monasteries and schools. And so he does. He has a very long life. He lives to be 96, which is amazing today. It's just how remarkable it was back then when the average person lived to be about 45. And he did it was very active through his entire life and literally rebuilt the church in Ireland. There's also a miracle attributed to him when the King of Scotland heard about this bishop and asked him to cross the Irish Sea to Scotland and pray over his very ill son. And he did. Malachi went across, prayed over the King of Scotland's son, and the son was cured. And they said that was a miracle. Well, an amazing saint, a builder and a promoter of the faith. There's a side note about him that you should know about. If you Google St. Malachi, inevitably it's going to pop up the prophecies of St. Malachi. These are prophecies about all the future popes that are going to be and who's going to be the last pope and so on and so forth. It was written around the year 1600 or so. Um, it has nothing to do, they attribute it to Malachi. Malachi had nothing to do with it at all. It was written around 1600 when they wrote it. Uh, we know that because if you've heard me say before in here, language is always changing, always changing. You know, read the Gettysburg Address, read Shakespeare. You'll know language is constantly evolving. And Latin evolved too, evolved into French and Spanish and Portuguese and Italian. But the Latin, written in Latin also evolved. And they know that the syntax and the grammars and things used in that prophecy was not at all what was being used at the time of Malachi five centuries before. So they know it wasn't really Malachi prophesizing all these things. Who wrote it? Nobody knows, uh, but it wasn't him. Nevertheless, our patron saint, a founder, a builder, an expander of the church, and a great role model to have for us as a parish community and for our own personal lives.